Good morning, y'all. Happy Sunday. I'm not in my best spirits this morning. And I'm trying to shake it. But. Anywho. Um, so I just made me a cup of coffee. Um, new mug alert. This was supposed to be in the haul. But I'm going to share it with you guys now. Because I couldn't wait to share with you guys. It's the pumpkin spice for me. So I picked this beauty up from TJ Maxx yesterday. It was $4.99. Look at the inside, you guys. It has this really cute leopard print design. I absolutely love it. When I spotted it in TJ Maxx, I was like, oh my gosh, I cannot walk out these doors without it because y'all don't let me buy another mug. Don't let me buy another mug. I have Buku mug. I don't even know how many I have at this point, but you know, I was telling you guys that I was supposed to get my coffee bar for the Babe Cave a couple of weeks ago, and that was like a back order. Uh, it was from Amazon. Long story short, I ended up getting my money back because it was just taking too long for the company to ship it out to me, and I actually had Chip uh, buy me another one that's supposed to be here Tuesday. So hopefully they come here on time, and I'll share with you guys me building it in and all that type of stuff. But I'm super, super behind on a lot of things that I wanted to do and share with you guys, but it's okay. Um, I'll get it out as soon as I can. Um, but yeah, like I said, um, oh yeah, the time went back. So it's actually 9.22 a.m. instead of 10. It's showing 10 on my microwave, but on my watch, so different. Okay, so yeah. But yeah, like I was saying, you know, I woke up in great spirits and everything, you know, but it's just... It's just sometimes people around you, no matter how much they say they love you, it's the actions that don't be mathing up. And it's like I'm always getting triggered by things that people do to me that they know would trigger me and make me unhappy. And I used to always question myself, like, am I being too dramatic? Am I being too picky or am I uh, am I being anything and I'm like no it's my given right to want things done a certain way or on a certain time frame or whatever it's like just respect my vision I know you're not going to understand it but just respect it like I would do you you know I'm trying to tell y'all how I'm feeling without actually telling y'all how I'm feeling and why I'm feeling it and I'll be trying to be as transparent with you guys because I've always shared bits and pieces of my emotion with you guys because I want my channel to be very transparent. You know, I've shared tears with you guys about the situation with my son. And it's hurt so bad. I don't even like calling him my son no more. And I'm just being honest. I birthed him because I can't imagine... A child that you birth will mistreat you and disrespect you and allow others that's not family disrespect you and you just go on about your life like you don't have a mother that you're hurting. I've shared that bit with you guys and it's, it's like it's getting worse and worse and it's like all I keep doing is just pushing on, continuing on with my life and manifesting and just... But it hurts to know that the people who say they love you, family, that that will intentionally try to hurt you. And they, they hear me, but they don't hear to understand. They hear to defend. And it's like, I'm not asking for a lot. I just want love and respect. Why is that so? And I don't, I'm not going to beg nobody to love and respect me. I'm just not. I'm not built like that. I would rather nobody be in my life, literally nobody, which nobody in my life anyway, than to put up with somebody else's bullshit. And I honestly feel like I've done nothing wrong and I'm warm enough to say I've done something wrong because I want to fix it. I'm open to fix it. If I said anything, if I've done anything, 
I'm woman enough to fix it. Nobody want to have conversations. Nobody want to sit down. And that's what I don't understand about other grown people. Why nobody want to have conversations? And I beat myself up thinking it's always me because they make me feel like it's always me. And I know it's not. I've had conversations with other people in the psychology world, medical world, people that have been married for years. And everybody I'm has been neutral to situations that I've shared. And they say the fact that I'm willing to be open to have conversations and to fix it lets them know a lot. But I just never thought that me, I mean, I'm not saying that, you know, I'm opposed or I'm not the word opposed, but I'm like special to where I can't have family problems. But it's like, I don't feel like I've done nothing. Every time I set boundaries, I become the black sheep. Every time. And I think that's what triggered me this morning. How I'm always pushing to be greater. I'm always trying to be a better wife, a better mother, a better daughter, a better sister. A lot of people take me for granted in my family. Um, They use me. And, uh, and it hurts. You know, I've shared also with you guys before how I've been having some medical problems and nobody came to visit me. Nobody. I barely get a call. And that hurts because everybody want to be loved. And it's like, what did I do so bad to where y'all don't want to come visit me. Y'all don't want to call me, but I can do it for you. I could run out of town to go visit y'all and pick up the phone and say, hey, I hope you're feeling well or check on the kids or whatever it is. But I can't get that. And I'm wrong for wanting the energy to be reciprocated. Why? Why am I such a bad person where I'm undeserving of love and respect? Why I always have to repeat myself? And I'm trying to be a changed person because back, back, back when I was a little bit younger, I was a firecracker. I used to pop folks in the face. I used to slap folks around for being disrespectful. And I'm not that person no more wanting to use my hand to be an answer. That's not me no more. And it's like, they know that and they trying to push me back to that place. And I have to remove myself from people like that. If you want to see me being that angry, bitter person, you don't love me. You don't care about me. But it's, that's what it seems it's like. Let me just push her to the edge. Let me make her so angry. She put her, and I'm going to have her ass sent off to jail. That's, that's the way I feel. Because I just, I, I, I can't understand it. And I'm not trying to really wreck my brain trying to understand it. I just want to remove people out of my life that this not for me. And it's like, I'm, I'm just tired. <laughs> And stuff, and then I'm still not seeing my grandbaby. The son that I birthed still being a little boy. The little girl, his baby mama, she's never been respectful to me. She's always thought she was entitled. And um, she was very disrespectful from the moment I met her. Just very. And I wasn't going to put up with that. I don't give a sh. I was not going to put up with no disrespect from nobody. But now they're using this child as a weapon. Everybody know how that child feel about me. It's like they trying to remove me out their life and replace me. It's, it's just a whole lot. But yeah, enough of that, you guys. But like I said, I've always been transparent with you guys. And I'm not looking for no pity party. It's just my story might can help somebody else. Somebody may have a story like mine. And they can relate. I want my channel to be relatable. I want y'all to be like, oh, girl, I know exactly what you're talking about. I felt like that or I did that. You know, but because I'm human too. Don't let social media fool you guys to think influencers and content creators' life is perfect. We're not perfect. We have problems just like everybody else. Hell, we might have more problems. And we use this platform as a way to vent. We have Many opportunities to get on here and use social media like our personal diary. Because I can go back a year from now and say, oh, this is where I was in life. And look how much I've grown. You know, 
So I've never been ashamed of being transparent, but it's only so much I will share with you guys because I may, it may be uncomfortable for me. However, I've, I've never been opposed to being a little bit open with you guys because, like I said, y'all make a relate. Um, I actually had a couple of ladies hit me up and was like, Shine, I can relate to you pertaining to how your son has been treating you because they've had, you know, children or siblings that have mistreated them in some form. So, yeah, so that's where I'm at this morning. Um, this video is going to be kind of like a mini vlog. Um, I'm not doing nothing today. I went out yesterday late hit a few stores in the Pink Street, and um, got dinner. We had Texas Row House, and that's about it. So today, I'm just going to share with you guys the things that I picked up. Um, I got this really cute little side table that I picked up from Ross. I want to share with you guys. And the price, I cannot wait to share with you guys the price. So I'm going to sit here, meditate. Get my thoughts together, sip on my coffee, and then I'm going to come back and share with you guys what all I picked up. All right. See you in a minute. All right, you guys. So, I had my coffee. Excuse that mess in the background. I'm cleaning up. I've been cleaning up for about a good week of different things that I need to put away for. It's like home decor and stuff. So, I finished my coffee. It was real good. I had put in... Some um, vanilla oat milk, pumpkin spice syrup. Um, not oat milk. I used the uh, pumpkin spice oat milk. That's what I used. Um, what I use? The Dunkin' Donuts pumpkin spice coffee, pumpkin spice syrup, and the pumpkin spice vanilla oat milk creamer that's what i did so like i said excuse that mess i got some stuff i'm putting away and then i'm trying to decide should i just this is my moo moo y'all seen this moo moo before ain't nothing special this is what i like to use when i'm like moving around and stuff because it's nothing clinging to me i'm free and everything but i'm trying to decide if i want to go ahead and put on some more leisure clothing because I need to go to my garage, but I don't know if I should wait on Chip. Chip went to go get me breakfast, but by the time he come back, because he's so slow, I've been on did everything I need to do. So, no, I said excuse that stuff because I've been doing a lot of reviews for companies. Um, Oh, my gosh, I'm so grateful. A lot of companies have been hitting me up back to back to back to back. Like, a lot of them are not YouTube sponsorships. They're more so social media Um platforms like TikTok and Instagram. So if you don't see it on here, you know, that's why. But I've been doing a lot of sponsorships with companies and that's what that is. Um I don't know if you can see behind me right here. That's the box to this item that Chip is putting together right now. It's this tool cabinet. And I am loving the fact that companies are noticing me and they're noticing my husband. Um, because I never in, in a million years would have thought that I would be getting like a tool cabinet. Like, I don't, I do home decor, but not home improvement. So they know Chip is handy with his hand. Um, I share with you guys, uh, I believe on YouTube, but I know for a fact on TikTok, where Chip was putting together my IKEA bullet book case. He's really, really good and handy. So I'm very grateful that companies are noticing him and how handy he is. And I can promote their products because they know the product is going to get built, um, you know, well and everything like that. So, yeah, that's what that box is. So I got a lot of junk in the background. So please just disregard that. Um, I got a speaker from a company. A company wanted me to review um, this really, really cute speaker. Um, I'll be right back. I'm going to get it so I can share with you guys. I had to turn on some light, honey, because y'all couldn't see me. I know I'm light, but I ain't that light. Um, so, yeah, a company sent out to me this computer speaker right here. So, I did my review on that and did a whole 
real. I think I did a real. I'm pretty good at keeping track of all my products that I receive. And when I do the reviews, my likes and dislikes and so forth and my recommendations. So what this is, is a Rainbow Wave RGB lighting. It's a clear st um, stereo sound, USB power and wireless connection. I already used it, of course, just to test it out. And it's really cool. I would say this would be ideal for like a gamer, a young child who want, you know, the cool lights and stuff. But it's really, really good. I'll make sure I leave all the information um, down below um, about this product. Now, y'all do know that, oh, I hope I ain't showing no address. Um, I do get a small, I'm talking about very, very, very small, hunting of uh, commission when you guys shop my Amazon storefront or you click links to these products. So that means a lot to me and it also just helped me, you know, keep great content flowing for you guys. So don't be um alarmed that I may get a dollar or two, sometimes 50 cents, sometimes 30 cents. It don't be a lot, baby, to run to the bank. Um, so, um, yeah, I just wanted to share with you, but anything that has links, I'll make sure I leave it down below. And um, if you have any questions, as always, you can always DM me about anything. But I won't get into full detail about a lot of things because, you know, the company not paying me to put it on YouTube. But I'm going to share with you guys because y'all, y'all just a bitch. Y'all always supported me. And anything and anything that I share, you know, is 100% my honest truth. And if it's just not good products, they're just not good products. But... So far, I did like this. I plugged it up, and I listened to it, and I jammed out to me some Cardi B and some Megan. And now, I ain't got no Megan knees, but, you know, I like her little tunes or whatever. I can bop a little bit. <laughs> and that's about it. But, yeah, enough of that. Hopefully, Chip will be back soon because, ew, he's so slow. But I want to go ahead and share with you guys this side table because I need to get it put away. I know also that I've been doing a lot of girly hauls and pink fun, all that cute stuff, but I'm going to get back into more of my home, my apartment to home series. I haven't got about um, you guys. I know a lot of you guys have came over um, to see me do my apartment to home series, so I appreciate you guys for sticking around. Welcome all my new subscribers. We just going to the top. We're going to the top, and we're going to let nothing and nobody discourage us. So, yeah, I'm about to turn this camera around and show this table because I think it's good. I, I personally think it's good. Now, I saw this table the other day, previous to when I purchased it, and I saw it, and I was like, oh, that's cute. Yeah, no, 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 no. But, you know, we ain't cheap around here, but we frugal. We're going to make our dollar stretch. We're going to make our dollar stretch. So, when I saw the price on the this side, I was like, mm-hmm, give me up, give me up, give me up. It's like Chip can put it in the buggy fast enough. So, let me turn this camera around. And I don't want to show too much because, like I said, I got my moo, moo honey, and I'm comfortable. But at the same time, I want to be presentable to you guys. But y'all know, I'm not the one to be on here on full beat, glam. Air. No, I'm not. Y'all know I get down. All right, so let me see if I can turn this camera around and share with you guys my... My little um new table. Here's my RH book I just got in the mail. Let me see if I can turn this around with this good lighting. Hold on. All right, you guys. This is the side table. It is so stinky to you. So this is what I'm talking about. I got it from Ross from $23.99. and it was originally $34.99. You know, you save a couple of little dollars or whatever, but you know, the dollars count. And this is the bottom. I'm going to be putting it in my bedroom. I absolutely love it. And it's pretty large. The, the top part is pretty large. So if you're in the market for a cute little side table, go run out to Rouse and um see if you can try your look. I'm trying to find the. Ugh. Ugh. Where is. Ugh, it's up under, honey. That's the information screenshot if you need it. But yeah, go to your local Ross, see if you can try your look, because this is a good one. This is a good, excuse me, y'all. I'm removing that tray off my island. 
like I told you, I'm going to be doing a little cleaning up here and there. So, it's going to be stuff all in the background. So, disregard that. Oh, all right, you guys. So, Chip kind of got home with the breakfast. He got me a water burger. What is it called? The breakfast? Breakfast what? Breakfast burger. Something quick. I just need to put some on my stomach because I take medications. What is this? Why my hash browns always be out the bag? That is gross. That is, they need to put this in a something with a lid or something because there's nothing more gross than having to fish out your... Like, look at this. That's gross. My little hash brown stick. You might well throw it on the floor. And my little sandwich. I hope it done right, because they be messing my sandwich up lately. So, what it is, is like some kind of sausage and bacon and a fried egg and hash brown. I ain't know they put hash brown on there, too. I did. Some I don't need. I'm going to probably run my cholesterol up, but I'm just going to take a couple bites. And I always give, like, chip the remaining, because I can't eat all this stuff. What you got special? Why y'all still come in a cute box? Look what Chip's got. What do you got? What is this? Fries? You really got chili cheese fries for bread? Ooh, baby, you finna be on the toy yet. <laughs> you finna be on the toy yet all morning. Good thing we stopped up on Tisha. <laughs> all right, you guys. So I already finished my sandwich. Well, I ain't finished it. I only did a little bit. I only ate a little bit. Uh, we're going to the babe case so I can do this haul for you guys. Um, I need to get presentable for you guys because I just feel like I'm just not presentable. So, yeah. I want to get pre presentable for you guys. I'll be back. Okay. We're in the babe case. And I'm literally disgusted with myself because... I got a lot of stuff everywhere in my room and I need to clean it up. And I know that's a bad spirit that I've been having for a minute now of procrastination of doing things because I get so easily consumed with a lot of stuff, trying to be a wife, trying to be, you know, a business owner, trying to be a content creator. It's just a lot. And sometimes when things like this get overwhelming for me, I just shut down. I don't do nothing. And I'm just looking around like, I got stuff everywhere. Like, I've been putting away my Halloween stuff. I got things in the corner I'm wanting to donate and declutter. And it's just, and uh, y'all excuse Chip if y'all can hear him. Let me blow his nose. Um, uh, I'm wanting to redo my room, like put my units on this opposite side of the room. And it's just a lot. I got a lot of stuff and I'm trying to declutter and it's just becoming a lot for me. And I don't know where to start. And I'm always one that used to be great at keeping goals and scheduling. This ain't it. This is not it. Oh, I'm just disgusted. And I keep buying. I keep buying more stuff. And it's like, watch her. Now, I will say this. I might be buying... But I will declutter. I will remove, you know, items I'm no longer wanting. But I replace it back. <laughs> it's like, whatever, child. All right, so I'm going to share with you guys the things that I picked up these past couple of days. Now, some of these items I picked up like, no, it was still the beginning of the week. What's today? Sunday. I think I started picking up more stuff. I believe Wednesday or Thursday of this pay. Excuse you. You probably like good look. Um, I think it was Wednesday or Thursday of this week. Anywho, I'm gonna share with you guys. Um, and then I need to um I put this top on because I felt like I was just inappropriate. And um, I know y'all accept me for who I am, however. I like to be confident, you know, I like to be confident. And plus, I need it to because I'm going to have to help Chip. Well, I don't have to help him, but I'm going to assist him 
with fishing off that cabinet. And if the video is not too long, I'm gonna share with you guys a little information about the cabinet. I'll tell you that the company sent out to me because I really like the cabinet. Like I'm not, you know, into like home improvements and stuff like that. I mean, I am, but not like to that extent where it's like tools and cabinets and all this stuff. Y'all know what I'm saying? But I like it. I want to share with you guys because y'all may be um, in the market for something like this to house your tools, your husband tools, your boot tools, whatever. And it's also can be functional for other things the way uh, I remember, you know, looking at it. It could be for, you know, the safety of your pow pow um, because it has a digital. I'll tell y'all about it. enough of that. Let's get into these goodies. Um, because I don't want this video to be too long, and yeah, I'm trying to see if it's something else I need to tell y'all, because sometimes when I get in my little groove, I don't like to be disturbed, but yeah, um, the first thing I want to share with you is something from Amazon, um, a few things from Amazon, um, so the most latest thing I want to share with you, I don't know if I shared in my last video, where I um, ordered some straw toppers. I think I did, now I'm reflecting. I ordered these designer inspired straw toppers. It has Coach. I have another one that says Gucci on my Tumblr already. It has Dior and it had another Coach but I shared it with one of my friends. I remember me ordering these once before and they kept BSing around on Amazon saying it wasn't available. Asked me, do I want my money back? It was just taking over a month. So I finally reordered them, especially when I noticed that the price had decreased and I actually got them. So yeah, I got these really cute straw top. I just thought they was really cute. And like I said, I have another one that says Gucci in black, like this Dior one right here. And then I had another one, I believe it was black, says Coach, but I shared it with a friend. And then I ordered Chip some because he has a Stanley Duke as well. And I ordered him these Nike sneaker ones. He only wanted one and it was in the color blue. So I have extra one. This is like a brown color. And then it's another one right here, like a pink. Is that pink? Purple, red, and blue. Whatever. Super cute. And here got another one to pack that's red. So I make sure I leave all this stuff down below. Um, of course, y'all can check my Amazon storefront for all these Amazon items. If they're not linked, that means I don't recommend the products. So, yeah, I got those. They were very inexpensive, like under $6. Next, um, I cannot take credit for this. My, I actually saw it before on Amazon, and I had it in my car, and I was like, I don't need that, but I just put it in my cart. But she brought it back to my attention. Um, we was on the phone chatting one night, and I was like, oh, let me get this. She had sent me the link. So, Angel, thank you for reminding me that I needed these in my life. So, what they are is they're, they call them half moon, but y'all know what it's giving. So, what they are are purse strap extensions. And I just thought it was really, really cute to add to your coach bag. I mean, we can add them to whatever bag you want, but I'm going to actually ask, put it on my coach bags because... I'm just OCD like that, but it's a, like a navy blue. I wish it was black, but it's not. And it's a really pretty pink color. So yeah, that was very inexpensive. Well, I believe this for two was like $4. So I add that to my cart because I highly recommend it because the gold is very heavy. The metal is very, it has some weight to it. So it don't seem cheap. It don't seem like it's going to tarnish or anything anytime soon so yeah i got that i was about to say something but i'm gonna leave it a little bit alone it was something that i saw on instagram a couple of days ago where somebody was like it's not important to give per a person credit or whatever but i'm gonna leave it a little bit alone because honey hmm yeah <laughs> i think it's important and it does matter i don't know why people think it don't why you think influencers have, I'm gonna leave that a little bit alone, babe, because yeah. <laughs> um, next I got this um card case, this card holder case. I don't know if I ran up on this myself or my 
friend Angel shared it with me because we always sharing different things on Amazon. But I want to share with you guys because they got them in a lot of colors. And I got this, oh, if it could come out this box. I got this um, caramel coffee. I think that's what they describe it as on Amazon coffee color. Um, I have a Coach um, City Tote bag. I think I shared it with you guys before that I needed something like an extra accessory piece to put in my bag. Um, so yeah, I got this one and it's pretty good quality. I just need to put, you know, maybe some extra cards of some sort, you know, not my main cards, like my driver license, credit cards and debit cards stuff, but like extra card, like rewards cards, gift cards and stuff, you know, you get the juice. And here's the back seem to be pretty good quality. I know on the reviews, a lot of people were saying that the leather was very cheap, but this was under, I believe $5. I cannot, you know, go wrong. But you know, Amazon sometimes do have crazy price points or whatever, but you know, and with their return policy, it's best to just shop wise. So yeah, those are all the items that I got for Amazon. Next, um, I picked up a couple of candles from Bath and Body Works. So this is a Twisted pear, Peppermint. Every year when they come out with really cute Christmas packaging, especially in pink, I grab them because I do own another Twisted Peppermint in a different print. But y'all, the package is on point this year. Look at this. And of course, I love the Twisted Peppermint scent. Oh, it just smells so good and yummy. So I got this and I believe that day the candles were on sale for $13.95 and I had a 10 off of 30. So I've got these fairly cheap. I believe under $10. You do the math, but it's no big deal. And I picked up another one, which is the Champagne Toast. Look at that print, you guys. You can't tell me that it's not cute. That is so stinking cute. So it got um the nutcrackers on here and whole bunch of other stuff. So you know why we got it because of the package. But of course, champagne toast do smell good. Oh, it smells so good. So if you can catch any of these candles on sale, I highly recommend you do when they're on sale. Next, I picked up a home decor piece from TJ Maxx last week. And it's just something I'm trying to decide if I was going to put them, put it in here because this is my scheme so my scheme for my beauty room is black and white stripe with pops of pink mainly this color shade of pink or you know in this family magenta rose if you will you know but the darker more people call it hot pink it's not hot pink but just this darker shade of pink so i found this well that was in the tj maxx um bag but i believe it was home goods because that's like a combo store and I just thought this was so stinking cute to just, which way is the friend? To just house like really cute things in there. Like y'all see, I have this pink one right here in my Billy bookcase. I got this one from Burlington. It housed like my Juicy Couture accessories and stuff like this. When I redo my room, my vision is to have an island. I don't know if I want to build one, not actually build it, but put piece some furniture together to create one or go get the Impressions Vanity one. I don't know. But I want to house a box on it to put little knickknacks in that I need to grab and go with. It's like, because I want to create this space like my closet, my glam room, and so forth. Um, so, yeah, I got this. And I can actually use it in here, like I said, because I have the black and white stripe. Or my living room. I do have some trinket boxes that house like rem remotes and stuff like that. But it's due to get some, I'm due to get more. Because those are starting to like, it's like black ostrich leather and chrome. And the chrome is starting to like, you know, rust a little bit. And I don't like that. I hope my lighting is still good. It's getting real funky looking in here. But here's the inside. Real pretty. And I can see this on top of my island with like maybe some of my, you know, accessories or whatever. But I just thought this was pretty. I think I'm going to leave it in here. Um, it was $19.99. They do have a smaller one. That was $16.99. I didn't get that that day because I didn't know whether or not I was going to keep this or not. But I think I am because I love... I don't know what it is about the black and white stripe. It just seems so classic to me. It kind of reminds me of that old school Bessie Johnson, Kate Spade. I've been stuck on black and white stripe for the longest. Even back when I had a beauty room years ago, I had black and white. Please zebra print with pink. I've always been drawn to 
black and white with a pop of color. So yeah, I got that. Let me put that out the way because that is glass. Okay, I have two bags. Super cute uh, fall theme bag I picked up from Burlington for 99 cents. It has all the pumpkin spice theme, you know, the donut, the pumpkin pie, the latte, a coffee, whatever. But it's really, really cute. I just got that for my goodies. No particular order. I'm just going to grab. And I believe it's other items in here because I do see, like, Ross bags. So this is a Ross bag. Let's see what's in here. Oh, so while I was in Ross that day, I did stumble across this really cute Hello Kitty. Um, what is this called? It's a name for these jugs. These is it a jug? What are these called? I can't think of it right now. If I think of it, I'll put it across the screen. But I first saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so stinking cute. So it's like the Hello Kitty fall print, like my mug, and it has a straw um, and everything. And it was only $4.99, you guys. So sticky cute. I could definitely see me having pumpkin spice iced coffee or caramel or ma macchiato iced coffee in this in the morning. So I'm glad I was able to get my hands on this because, you know, the resellers, they will have grabbed this and upsell sold it. And y'all already know I'm I, I'm not built like that. I'm not, mm -mm. So, yeah, but I cannot think of the name of what they call those. Huh. Next, from Ross, I picked up the Soft Lips um, Hello Kitty Christmas theme lip balm. Now, I was actually looking for the other. It's two kinds of prints. I think the packaging is green. And the colors of Hello Kitty outfits and everything is just a different color so you get hot cocoa cinnamon and sugar plum i'll probably give that to my sister because i don't like nothing purple like that and she does so i got this and it's only 2.99 really cute to pick up for someone that's a hello kitty lover and make it your yeah, stocking stuffer you know it's time to start getting those gifts out the way if you have not already started Back when I used to buy for everybody in my family, I'm talking about everybody. I used to start mid-August because it was just a lot. Because I'm intentional with my gift giving. I don't just, I'm, I'm intentional. I have a whole book on what I want to get that person. I, you know, study them throughout the year and say, well, I've never seen them with a red jacket before. Let me give them a red jacket. Or they always said they wanted to, you know, try a Bath and Body Works candle for whatever reason they didn't buy it on. Let me give them you know, a Bath and Body Works candle. So I'm very intentional with my gift giving. So if you ever get a gift from me, it's intentional. It's not thrown together. That's one thing I pride myself about. I'm a big giver. However, my heart has slowed me down because people will mistreat you. Okay, so I have a Burlington bag. Look like there's all this in that bag. So I'm going to have to stoop over because it seems like um, that was all in here. Okay, so this is a gift. So I'm not going to share that. Let me put that somewhere where it won't get broken. And I know who, you know, who the gift is for. They don't watch me. I don't know. But they mom do. It's my sister, Keithia. Um, it's for her son, King, my, my little nephew. Okay, you guys, so y'all already know this is going to be a mug. I don't think I've ever done a haul without a mug. So, what is this? Oh, okay, so I finally got my hands on a Karofi mug at Burlington. It's not pink, I know, you guys, but I just think he's so sticky cute. I just think he's so sticky cute. And this was $4.99. But I just think they're so sticky cute. Why not, you know? So that means I'm going to have to put, you know, put some mugs, get, remove some mugs because I can't have all these mugs, you guys. I just, I can't. Okay, next. What is this down here? Oh, okay, I remember this. So I actually got... Lucky and found this really cute My Melanie mug. 
She is absolutely the cutest. I love this shade of pink, but it's not a color that I would probably put in my room. Probably pops of it, but not a whole, you know, I know more the this is more so the pink community's color, but it's just, I don't know, it just seems too soft for me. And being that I'm a seasonal woman and I, you know, have an obsession with the color pink, I want it to be a little bit more stronger and more, you know, a statement, you know, and this seems to be a little bit more softer for me. And I'm, I'm intentional of being in my soft girl era, but I'm just not there. You know, um, enough of that. But I just think this is a beautiful mug. So I picked it up and it was $4.99. Oh, I hope I don't break that. So that is all that was in that pumpkin spice bag. And next in this really cute, if I can pick it up. Ah, uh, cute pink Christmas bag. Can y'all see the print? This is new to me. So it has white Christmas trees and like gold, a gold star on the tree. Really, really cute. I got this bag from Marshalls. Oh. And let's see what I have in here. Oh my God. So the first bag is from Home Good. So I picked up these pretty pink um, marshmallows, peppermint marshmallows. I was starting to pick up a couple pieces for my coffee bar and it was $4.99. So I think for this year's theme for my Christmas to go over in here, I'm gonna do like gingerbread and peppermint. I don't know yet. Like I know I picked up a couple of Christmas mugs that was like red and white. That's just gonna be just for daily use. But my main theme is gonna be gingerbread and peppermint, I believe. I don't know, but that's, that's what I'm thinking. So I got this. Because last year, I couldn't get my hands on because they were sold out. Next. Oh, my gosh. You guys. Another mug. Which one is this? Oh. <laughs> so, I got my hands on Santa Baby. And I don't believe I have this. That's why I need to start pulling out my Christmas stuff so I can tell whether or not I got it. That's why I'm also going to start doing a collage. Well, I'm going to do a vault for all my mugs, like on my Instagram highlights, so I can know which, what items I have. So I got this for $3.99 from Home Goods, but I don't believe that I have that. But I got that. I believe that was all I got from Home Goods. Yeah, that was all. So for Marshalls, I picked up these um, pumpkin spice um, disposable coffee cups. I couldn't find a print that I had wanted. Um, and I looked, I looked, I looked, and I could not find them anywhere. They were a print that had like the pumpkin spice latte on there, the pie, the donut, whatever. I could not find a print for nothing. And I actually saw these in store before, and I was like, no, I don't want them. And I'm trying to be intentional with my spending. So when I noticed that they was on clearance for $3, I'm like, okay, I can, I, I, I save a couple of dollars. I don't even know what's the original price. But yeah, I like it. It has a pink background. It has some pumpkin, pumpkin pie on it, and the coffee sleeve says cutie pie. So I can use these, you know, up until... Thanksgiving is over and store the rest away for next year because I love buying off season. So I got that from Marshalls. Oh my gosh, you guys. Another mug. Ugh, I'm disgusted with myself. I don't know where this came from. Oh, that's a gift from someone. Whew, thought it was another mug for me. Which I believe it do have one because I remember... So to my friend, I saw something that was on one of my wish lists. So I finally, finally, finally got my hands on the mug everybody keeps saying goes viral. I don't know why y'all use that word so loosely. Like, we all like the same thing. We're a collective community. However, it's not viral. Everybody don't know about it. Anyway, so I got my hand on the cute gingerbread mug 
I could not get my hands on this for nothing last year. And I actually had someone reach out to me about buying one um, from them, but I already had it. So I'm happy. I didn't have to pay for shipping. This is so stinking cute. I wanted this mug so bad last year. I opted out to get one from Ross and it looked nothing like this, but I at least had a gingerbread mug. But y'all, look how cute he is. And there was two in the store, but all my pink, you know, sis already had them. So I had just to pick up one for me. But look at the cute little heart button. It's just so sticky cute. And like I said, I got it from Marshalls for $5.99. So I'm happy to have her in my collection now. Oh no, it's chipped. That's not noticeable, y'all, but look. Ah, uh, is that, it's not that noticeable. You know how I am, y'all. And last but not least from, this is chip item, Marsha, is some distilled soap. It's not even supposed to be in here, you guys, but I'm going to show it to you either one way. So it's the um, Pure Castile um, soap, the 18 in 1 hemp lavender scent, and this is Dr. Bonner's. I think I've shared about this product before, like years ago, but this is a staple in our bath routine for the hubby eye. You can pick these up from TJ Maxx Marshalls. They come in different varieties of scents. It's $12.99, which is a good deal because if you get it from like Walmart or Target, it's going to be much more. But this is a staple. It will clean your soul. Literally, be prepared. It will literally clean your soul. But you can use it to bathe with, brush your teeth, wash your clothes. However, I don't do all that now. I just mainly just bathe and shower with this first. And then I use my Dove or whatever soap that I'm using um, to coordinate in the scents because I don't like to mix to different scents, you know, that makes sense. But yes, if you want to know that your body is actually squeaky clean, I live by this. This is a holy grail in our household. It will knock the dirt off your body. Not clean. It will literally knock the dirt off your body. I highly recommend this for men. And I'm not saying, you know, we women is more cleaner than guys, but I'm just saying, you know, if you have a hardworking man that work around like oil and dust and dirt and get your boo some of these, your, your team ball, get, get him some of these. They have regular scent. They don't have to be lavender. Just be careful if you get your hands on the peppermint scent. The peppermint scent one, it smells good. But sometimes it may mistakenly slip down in areas that may be a little sensitive and it's going to have you running out the shower. <laughs> like you got an icicle stuck up your butt. But I'm just saying, use at your own discretion. But I highly, 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 1,000% recommend this product if you don't know nothing about it. If you do, leave me a comment down below and tell me what you think about this. Is this a holy grail and staple in your household? shower routine let your girl know all right you guys that is all i have to share with you guys right now let's go back to the front and let's get this cabinet built and i'm gonna share you guys i'm gonna share with you guys all the tea on it so let's go all right you guys so this is the cabinet that i was telling you guys about chip had already started on it like early this week so it's pretty big, and um, it's supposed to house his tools and things of that such. But like I was telling you guys earlier, it's very functional for other things. So, yeah, let's finish building it. All right, you guys. So this is what is called a metal storage cabinet, and the brand is Metal Tiger. This is like a template manual of all the instructions like i opt to get one for stability with no wheels um and i have a digital lock so yeah i'm gonna show you a little bit of the finished product but this is just showing all the steps of pulling it together but chip already done it so i'm gonna show y'all probably 
the middle and the end results. And it did come with an additional piece right here. It's like a pocket or some type of organization pocket that you could put on the door. I don't know if Chip's gonna use that, but it's here. And it also came with these rods. I don't know what these rods go to. Hooks, oh, like S-shaped hooks so you can hang stuff in the cabinet. So yeah, it come with a lot of different accessories. So I'm happy. I'm happy with this um, collaboration with this company. This is a nice product. All right, you guys. So y'all saw that I, I didn't even do much. I feel say I put the cabinet together. Just put the cabinet together. So I'm going to end the video here because I don't have much going on. I don't want to hold you guys. So I'm going to do a few more things to the house and I'm going to chill and whatnot. Just vibe out or whatever. But I do appreciate you guys so, so much for tuning in to today's video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend. And I'll catch you guys on my next one. Bye.